Hi hey, YouTube friends, Alicia here with a video of a junk journal that I just made. Um, I just recorded this, so I thought, and realized I had my phone actually on camera and not video. So this is take two. Um, it's going to go a little faster, I hope, because I don't really feel like redoing the whole video. Anyways, um, like I mentioned in my video that wasn't actually a video, um, I'm no longer living at my house, which I think most of you know. I'm actually living in a camper temporarily, so my art room, my, and my living arrangements are all in a camper. Um, I love it. It's, yeah, like I said, it's just for a month. And it's actually at my mom's place, so I do have access to the house and everything. But I stay out here most of the time. But anyways, so without further ado, um, we'll start with having my junk journal on the right side up. Uh, let's get started. It's an envelope junk journal. I've recycled it from Happy Mail that I received. So it's done with a napkin and distress ink and then um, a homemade spray. This, yeah, it's just a spray. I don't own any sprays that are, or I shouldn't say I don't own any. I don't really use any sprays that I haven't made myself. I own a couple, but um, A, they're in storage and B, they're... Um, not really colors I like. They're just, I bought them to try them and yeah. Anyways, so like I said, it's an envelope junk journal and I used Distress Ink and Napkin. Teresa LaFrance, I believe, has a tutorial on it if you want to know how to do it. It's really simple. Um, and then I used some lace on the um, binding and it's bound with a hair elastic and nothing on the back. There was an oops on the corner because I managed to get um, Mod Podge in the wrong spot and you can't distress ink over that very well. So anyways, that's what happened there. Let's get started and I'll show you. So the inside is, like I said, it's an envelope. There's nothing in here. Uh, it's just painted blue with Dilutions paint. I was just uh, wanting to cover the actual color of the envelope. Um, the paper is K and Company and it's a very simple journal. This is book pages and I use tea dye, distress ink and applied it with a baby wipe. A little journaling card. Some ephemera. It's an old Uh, check, I believe, or receipt book that I found at my thrift store. I really like them. Um, here's some images that I printed. That's one thing that's really nice about being at my mom's, and I don't use the internet a lot, but she does have internet and a printer, so I have access to that. Some music sheet that I coffee dyed. And a little bike stamp. Um, I did the same thing here. I used Distress Ink and a Baby Wipe. So it has like a watercolor look. This butterfly was done with silicone and um, colored it with my permanent marker. Live in rooms full of light is what the stamp says. And I know it's not super clear, my videoing the way it's set up but it's the best I can do right now so it's gonna have to do another stamp and most of you know I packed almost all my stamps um, actually I packed almost all my craft stuff and so I've gotten a lot of new stuff from like the thrift store and racks and you know bought some stuff so that's been lots of fun having different stuff than I normally have even though I really miss having my own, or my, the stuff I was used to having. Another envelope. This is a doily tuck spot. Um, the doily's still wet, so it's not going to sit very well, but 
and it was coffee dyed and then I sprayed it with my spray and used some inks on it and just put a brad to hold it together and it came through to this side which I'm not necessarily crazy about but it is what it is I might stick a pocket there or something uh, the nice thing about junk journals is there's no right or wrong so you can always improvise if something doesn't work uh, another book page and that is the middle of the signature and typical of the way I normally do things, it repeats itself all the way through. Um, some tickets that I picked up. Just a little pocket there. This can flip out or just be used as a pocket. I can decide um, when I'm going to use it. I like these. These are just little cheap... Um, acrylic hearts that I buy. It's $72 for $1.25, so... You know, you can't go wrong. And I uh, colored them with my permanent marker. I did a doily. I'm really trying to use things. Um, I have a tendency to hoard everything. And then I look around and I'm like, yeah, I have no space for anything. I have so much stuff. So I've really been trying to, you know, if I have it, use it. Uh, more stamping. And then just stamped off. So I got a number of stamps there. Another stamp there. Um, another image. I really like this image. It's backed on an index card. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to use this journal for. I'm almost thinking for things that are like important to me or that I really like. And I'm thinking of adding some images um, to it. Of things, special memories and stuff. Uh, I don't really photos in my journals um but I think I might with this one I wanted when I started it off to be kind of like um royalty like um which is why I used the color purple and kind of um classy but you know typical of my style I went back to like vintage distress and whatever but I really like it so I mean, as long as I like it, I guess it doesn't matter what the final result is, you know, style-wise. This is another tuck. Another stamp from Stamping Up. My thrift store has had lots of stamps from Stamping Up lately. So, um, yeah, I have lots of stamps that I never had before, when like in any of my other videos. Here's another one in the corner. more music sheets and I haven't decided um, what I'm gonna do with these because I mean obviously they'd be a little bit hard to write on but I'm thinking if I water down gesso I could have a writing surface or I could just you know stick something on there because I really like you know the look of music paper and I don't want to cover it all up and then underneath is another index card some of them are coffee dyed and some of them are um, dyed with my tea dye distress ink and then this is the back and this another image and then this is the back of the journal and then I have some purple seam binding that when I find it I'm gonna use to add a closure to it um yeah I don't know how much more I'll add to it you know other than obviously filling it up but I just wanted to get on and show it to you because I really like it I think it turned out super cute um, any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you for watching.